Hunter, member of the ASEAN delegation and a rapporteur for the EPP on the Singapore Agreement, I have a keen interest, obviously, in this topic. And I must say, like uh, other speakers, I was a bit disappointed a few years ago when this was referred to the ECJ because I thought it was a bit unfair on the people of Singapore. But thankfully, it has worked out quite well. And indeed, there's great credit due to the Singaporean authorities for their patience in this regard. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of meeting their trade minister here, also their ambassador to the European Union. And last weekend in Dublin, I met their ambassador to Ireland. And they are very enthusiastic about this, very understanding of the European Union's position. But now, of course, look forward to implementation of the agreement. And that is the first thing the Commission will have to do, to try and get this implemented as soon as possible. They have got their clarity now regarding the ISDS, and indeed the Commission are working on a new framework for that. And I agree completely with the last speaker, Madam Hotola, that if the Member States are to be involved in the future, they are involved at the early stages, as soon as possible, not to be allowed to hold up agreements like we have seen in the past, especially in relation to CETA. So this is actually a good result, provided the Commission have the courage to take the result in their hands and do what they are being given the competence to do and make trade work for European citizens.